Hey, welcome back, Bob the Vapor Computer Guy. Today we're going to show you how to upgrade your Cuboid mod to version 3.13 so you can play Flappy Bird on it. Yeah, they came out with new software. They have a new mod coming out soon called the eGrip 2 Kit. And uh, that one uh, has been advertised as Flappy Bird on it, and who knows what other games will add for it. But they came out with the software today, or just recently, to upgrade your Cuboid, and I believe the Cuboid Mini, uh, to this. So I'm going to show you how to do the upgrade, and I'm going to show you the Smart Mode that's included now, and um, Flappy Bird. So, upgrading software is real easy. Let me pull up the pictures here and I'll show you that. Um, all you have to do is you go to their website, which you'll see a link below. It'll also be in the comments. Um, this is what their page looks like. When you're there, you scroll down a little bit on the left, you'll see where it says Operating System Select. I clicked on Windows because that's what I'm using. Uh, download their program and you can extract the files uh, to a folder on your computer or you can at least extract just the one Cuboid 3.13 bin file if that's the device you're upgrading here in my case uh, then you can either go to the folder where you extracted it all and click on the upgrade firmware program on the bottom uh, or you can actually run it right from it within your zip program uh, once that opens up you may get something like this if you're on Windows 8 saying uh, Windows protected your PC you click on more and then you click on run anyway once that comes up, you will see the update firmware software. You can now connect your device, uh, connect the USB from your computer to your Cuboid device. Uh, some people uh, say that they get an error at this point. If that happens, exit out of the software, connect your device first, and then run the software. I didn't have any problems with it, though. Uh, once that's connected, it will tell you the current version that you have. As you can see, in my case, I already have 3.13. You click on the Update button. And then browse for those files you extracted and click on the pro appropriate bin file. That's your firmware file that you're going to send over to the device. Uh, it will send it over and then you will see a firmware update complete. And that's it. You can now disconnect your device and your device is upgraded. We're going to dive down to the table now. I'm going to show you the smart mode and I'm going to show you how to play Flappy Bird. Okay, so once you've upgraded your firmware, you can confirm the version of the firmware. Let's turn it off, five clicks. Uh, with most Joy Tech products, you can press it, uh, I believe it's 20 times. You just keep pressing when it's off, and you'll get to the version screen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever. And there you go, version 3.13, you know you're updated to the latest version. Press it again, and you're on. Now, three clicks get you in the menu. One, two, three. All right, pressing to the right toggles. Power, smart mode, temperature control nickel, temperature control TCR back to power. Uh, now what you can do is you can keep going and when you're in let's go back to nickel ah, too fast one more nickel, then you can press to the left and you can go through temperature control nickel titanium to the right as you see once you hit once to the left and you can keep going to the right stainless steel, nickel Alright, press the fire and you're back. So let's go one, two, three for the menu. Let's go again and let's go into smart mode and fire. Smart mode is very interesting. You can have 10 presets and what you do is based on the resistance of the coil that's in there, it'll store the uh, setting for the uh, wattage that you want. For example, I have in here right now a 0.24 ohm coil and if you press it, you can see down there I had it at 60 watts. I'm going to leave it at 60. So it's at 60 right now, but if I take this coil, this tank off, put it down somewhere. This has a different resistance. Now watch the bars once I put this on. Fire it once. See that? It went down automatically. It knows that this is a different resistance tank, and I had this one set for 51 or 52, right about there, and it remembers that and now I can fire this at 52. And if I take that tank off, and I 
put the old one back on. Watch those bars. See that? It goes right back up to 60. Now this is good and bad. Um, it's nice that you put a 0.2 ohm coil on there, a tank on there, and it's going to jump to the wattage you want. You change it to a 0.3, it's going to jump to the kind of power you like at 0.3. If you're using the same tank and same same coils and you know you, you're pretty consistent with that then it's pretty good because it's going to know what you like to vape that coil at what wattage and it's going to adjust automatically for you um, but if you do a lot of different builds if you use a lot of different tanks you may notice that a 0.2 ohm coil a 0.2 ohm build in an rta like this you might like at 60 watts and a 0.2 ohm in a different tank like this you might like at 70 watts so it's not always exactly the same but if you're somebody that's using pretty much one, one tank one set of coils and you know you builds you like uh, then that mode is pretty cool okay one two three now I'm not gonna go all the menu uh, items here because it is pretty much the same aside from these few differences now if you're bored you can press and hold these two buttons the right button and the power button and it didn't work that time, so we're going to do it again. Uh, let's get it out of stealth mode first. Oh, there you go, see? Got to get it just right. Come on. All right. Now you can turn the logo on and off, but if you hit to the right again, you get the game mode. If you hit easy, look at that. You get a game. Press the fire button. Game starts. Now you hold the fire button to make Flappy Bird go up. You let it go for him to go down. So you just keep using the fire button and you see how far you can get. Oh, I crashed. Okay. So my, uh, my score was 6. My best score is 10. Press the fire button. Flappy Bird. Press it. It starts over again. And you can keep pressing and playing Flappy Bird. Okay, when you're done, right and fire button takes you back. So that's the main differences. You now have Flappy Bird in there, uh, and you have that smart mode, which is a pretty interesting mode. Uh, as for the rest of I'm not going to do a full tutorial on this because it's a Cuboid. It's been around a while. You can always look it up. Uh, but that's the new features with the new firmware update. I think it even vapes better knowing that Flappy Bird is in there. So, um, just kidding. Uh, there you go. If you're really bored and you don't have a smartphone and you think playing Flappy Bird is more fun than vaping, then I guess you can do that because you can't vape and play Flappy Bird at the same time. So, there you go. That's something. Don't know if it's good or not, but enjoy.